Good morning. It's Sunday, 16th July. Anyway, start of the Estale Spur. Go and see how far up Mount Bogo I can get. According to Mountain Creek campsite last night, and saw a familiar face, completely unexpectedly run into Mr. T. And had a bit of a chat, sat around the campfire. And he recommend driving up to here, Camp Creek Gack, instead of going up the staircase. And that seems sensible. 4K to the top. So a bit over a K in. About 40 minutes for a K in a bit, which is fine. It's the first 600 metres <coughs> are quite steep. Since then, it's sort of alternated between steepish and, well, like here, pretty much flat. Across Mountain Creek, and just the first signs of snow. We're about 1380, 1400 metres. Started at about 1120. And yeah, so there's nowhere to go. So I just stopped. Put on these jack tracks to help I don't slip in this icy snow and I noticed that a friendly local must have got breakfast out of me. Anyway, keep going. So uh, key voices from near Michelle or Mitchell Hart. And there's the summit ridge, so getting up. Michelle Hutt or Mitchell Hutt. So he made it, well, sort to the tree line. A couple of skiers up there who passed me just before Mitchell Hutt. They're skidding their way up, I, I presume. Starting to get some views. I wonder if that's the main range out there in the distance. Uh, not sure. We... Sonic Candid. There's a pole line on the staircase, but. And I'll just follow the pole line here, I guess. Be stupid enough to. I mean, two post years, but that's, as you can see, it's quite a drop. You're going to be sliding a long way if you go down there. Struggling a bit, actually. Just feel a bit off. Anyway, it's still a while to go. Staircase spur. Went by far in the background. I don't think I'm going to go any further. I'm really struggling, I feel sick. I thought it was because it was hot, but the wind's coming through and I still want this to charge. Oh, this probably won't put this on the internet because there's not much. Oh, man, it's that hot. Oh, man, pretty sure I chucked me guts a few hundred meters up and some poor bloke was walking by. <laughs> Had to witness that. Oh, I'm right back to Mountain Creek. Pretty much the last of the snow, yeah. A few bit of patches. Oh. Oof. Looking down and I'll feel a bit better. I haven't vomited or had, had different need for toilet since missed your heart, which is good. Oh. Snow's a bit softer coming down, so it's a little bit more slippery, but it's manageable. Oh, I've got a bit of car and I'll head to the car and somehow I've got to drive home. It will be a lot of brakes. Made it back to Camp Creek Gap. Oh, I think it's called. Cool. That was hard. Stuffed. Oh, I lost one of my little yak tracks somewhere between Mount, crossing Mountain Creek and a bit. So about 1380 metres and 1320. I should have taken them off when the snow stopped, but they were sort of making me feel more sure footed, like I wasn't slipping. And one obviously came off. It's a pain. Oh, oh well. That was a bit of a, I don't know if it's a disaster, but it was definitely a disappointment. 
perfect day. Perfect snow, I guess. Although it would have been a bit soft coming down, but it still would have managed it, I think. Oh well, you can't help when you're sick, or whatever I've got. So, defeated again by another mountain. <laughs> Alright, that's it.